This should bring back fond memories. <laughs> this is just what you did in tutorial, except I'm giving you numbers here, and I'm setting up a coordinate system where up the ramp is positive and down the ramp is negative. Now, based on those numbers that I gave you, what is the acceleration of that ball with your neighbor? What is the acceleration of that ball? Would anyone like to ask me a question? What's the time What's the rate of photo taking for the strobe? What's the what? The rate of photo taking for the strobe or the time between Oh, the time between strobes, it turns out, is two seconds. Ah, oh, that changes everything, yeah, okay. <laughs> now what's the acceleration? Okay. If we use that operational definition, it's just the final velocity minus the initial velocity, okay? Well, the final velocity is 6, positive 6, minus positive 9. That's going to give me a negative 3 meters per second change over a 2 second interval of time. That gives me an acceleration of minus 1.5 meters per second for each second. What does that minus sign mean? Does it? We'll see. Okay. In one dimensional problems, we use the minus sign to indicate direction. We choose one direction to be positive, one to be negative. I wish it weren't so. I wish that, that people who came before me in this job had chosen otherwise. I wish they would have chosen green to be up the ramp and, and teal to be down the ramp or something like that. They chose plus and minus. And it turns out that it confuses uh, beginning students. So we're gonna, we're gonna live with it. Now, we know that that acceleration is down the ramp because this is what we did in tutorial. We took the initial velocity and we put it tail to tail, <coughs> heel to heel, with the final velocity. And we asked ourselves, what change would I have to add to that long vector up the ramp to get a short vector up the ramp? Well, the addition, the plus sign is right there. This long vector, plus this vector in the opposite direction gives me the final vector, okay? Now, if that change in velocity vector is down the ramp, the acceleration vector must, has to be, no other possibility, must be down the ramp. Tell your neighbor why that is so, and in your explanation, use the words flux capacitor. <laughs> now, do it. <laughs> flux capacitor. time be in the same direction as that vector. And the reasoning is as follows. Unless you have a flux capacitor and a DeLorean, delta T cannot be negative. You cannot go backwards in time. Mickey marches forward. If you take a vector and you divide it by a positive number, you get another vector in the same direction. In other words, if this is the vector uh, C, then the vector C over 2 is going to be half as long, but in the same direction. The vector C over minus 2 is going to be half as long in the opposite direction. This can't happen to this equation without a flux capacitor and a DeLorean. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you have missed some fun movies. Okay. <laughs> Go back to the future. Okay, now, key point. Acceleration is a measure of the change in the velocity vector 
that occurs in one unit, typically a second, of time. Now, these pictures here come from uh, Cutnell and Johnson. This is the textbook that we would be using if we weren't using our textbook. This textbook costs $260. I put this up here just to show you what you're missing. Those are crummy pictures. Okay. This rocket, uh, this uh, airplane, has an acceleration of nine kilometers per hour for each second. What that means is that if we start at noon with the plane at rest, every second that ticks by, the speedometer goes up by nine meters or kilometers per hour. I, I show this picture because it's just wrong. That acceleration should not be labeled with a negative number. If you've got an arrow to the left, that tells you it's to the left, and you should always just put the magnitude. So I, I'm showing you that $260 doesn't buy you much. Okay? But if we just ignore that mistake, this drag car starts with a velocity of uh, 28 meters per second, about 60 miles an hour, and each second that goes by, I have to add minus five. So I go 28, add minus five, 23, add minus five, 18, add minus five, 13. That's the basic idea. Now, what's wrong with this statement? Acceleration tells how fast the object is moving per second. Why is that not only wrong, but sick and wrong? Brave soul? Um, because it's not how fast it's moving per second, but it's ever changing. Okay, so the whole idea of a change is what's missing there. The change in velocity is missing. What about this one here? Acceleration tells how much the velocity increases. Acceleration can also tell us how it decreases. It could also be decreasing. What else is missing here? As a unit of time. In a unit of time. In a unit of time. So it's got two problems there. Okay, suppose I were to tell you that uh, you're in a car and that car has an acceleration of minus seven meters per second every second. Is that car speeding up or slowing down? It depends on your coordinate system. It depends on your coordinate system. Okay, let's look at an example. Suppose that we have a long straight freeway and that freeway goes between two cities. And we're gonna call the positive x direction the direction towards Billings, and we're going to call the negative x direction the direction towards Butte. And that's not a social statement, I'm just setting up a coordinate system. <laughs> now if at noon you have a velocity that is 28 meters per second, and I've got this acceleration that is I mean, it's negative, but in this coordinate system, I would represent it with an arrow to the left, and I would put the magnitude. At exactly noon plus one second, how fast are you going? Yeah, 21 meters per second. If, however, you were originally going towards Butte at 28, meters per second, and this were your acceleration, this would be in an equation, this would be negative 28 meters per second, the negative sign meaning toward butte, with an acceleration of negative seven meters per second per second. At noon plus one second, you would be going 35 meters per second. Still in the negative direction. Okay? Now, Many times, textbooks use the word decelerate to mean, well, sometimes they use it to mean slowing down, and sometimes they use it to mean negative acceleration. Well, we've just found that those two different uses of the word decelerate are inconsistent with each other. So in this class, we're never, ever going to use the word decelerate. One of the words we'll just agree not to use. <coughs> When we want to say that something is slowing down, we will say it's slowing down. <clears throat> that works. Okay? Now, let's look at this example here. If we use the operational definition of acceleration, 
as the ball is speeding up down the ramp, we take final, which is negative 9, minus the initial, which is negative 6. Negative 9 minus negative 6 is negative 3. You divide that by the 2 seconds and you get negative 1.5 meter per second every second. Same as before. That minus sign means down the ramp. And in this case, it means speeding up. Okay? Now, the key idea is that there are two vectors that are important to motion. Velocity and acceleration. When those two vectors are in the same direction, either both positive or both negative, you're speeding up. When one of them is positive and one is negative, and it doesn't matter which is which, you are slowing down. Okay?